Hello everyone, my name is Bradley Newman. I'm an Alabama 4-H State Ambassador from Pickens County, Alabama for the 2020-2021 school year. So I'm here today with Miss Alicia McGee, a social worker from Pickens County, and I'm going to be asking her some questions about her job. So Miss Alicia, if you would please tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi. I um, am a licensed independent clinical social worker. I work for the Pickens County Schools and um, provide therapy for the students at the schools in our county. What made you decide to be a social worker? When I changed my major quite a few times, at first I was in fashion merchandising, then I moved to education and when I was doing my practicum in education, I was in a classroom. Um, I was at an elementary school and I kept noticing why the children were coming to school hungry, um, were coming to school dirty without a coat or needed supplies. And so I talked to my mom about it and she said I needed to look into social work because she felt like I was more concerned about their emotional and physical well-being and I did and I guess moms know best because I've been doing it ever since. Yes ma'am so what was your exact major in college? Um, in social work I have a bachelor's and a master's in social work. Yes ma'am what are some of the places in which you've worked? I have worked um, for a children's home I've worked for Alabama Medicaid. Um, let's see, I've worked for an adoption agency. I've also done some private practice. Yes, ma'am. What are, what is a day like as a social worker for you? Um, the days are kind of unpredictable. Um, we never quite know what is gonna come our way each day. Um, being in the clinics, I'm usually sure that I'm going to work with some students coming in and out. I have scheduled appointments. Um, we also do risk assessments on all of the students, so I schedule those too. And then, of course, we have those crises that may come in and need immediate attention. Yes, ma'am. What is the best thing about your job? Um, I think the best thing is just being able to meet um, kids, adults, and just being able to watch them grow as I'm working with them and getting to know them. What's the worst? Uh, the worst probably is some of the, um, I've heard some really sad stories. Um, I've interviewed I've worked for DHR previously, and I've interviewed children who've been physically abused, sexually abused, um, and having to hear those stories uh, has been hard, I think, over the years. What is your take on how the pandemic is affecting not only adult mental health, but children as well? Um, I think the pandemic is affecting adults and children because we have lost our normalcy. Um, our routines have changed. All of this is scary. And um, I think we're more, we're probably in less social situations. Um, it probably has heightened anxiety for most of us and even can lead to depression. Do you have any advice for teens and adults throughout Alabama who might be struggling with their mental health? Um, I think probably, <clears throat> excuse me, I think that I would say don't be afraid to reach out for help. Um, the first step is maybe letting an trusted friend or adult know that you're struggling and just um, being able to talk to someone and allow yourself to get the, um, the help that you may need. How do you help widen the stigma on therapy and mental health awareness as a whole? Um, I think that we all need to understand that if we were sick with, say, diabetes, we would see a doctor and we would take medication. Um, our mental health is the same. Sometimes we need to take medicine for um, emotional needs as well as talk to a therapist. Um, it just helps us all around 
just as being physically fit, we also need to be emotionally fit. So in 4-H, we have a saying to make the best better. Well, how, what is the way that you would make the best better in your, in your job? Um, I think by being there for whoever needs me, um, I think by showing um, care and compassion and empathy and also just encouraging um, anyone that I come in contact with. What advice would you give to youth who might possibly want to pursue your career in the future? Um, I would definitely say go for it. I think that the world could use more care, um, more compassion, and definitely those who are willing to make a change for the better. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for being with us today and for letting us sit down and taking time out of your busy schedule to meet with us and share some of the things about social work that not many people know. Well, thank you. I enjoyed it. And thanks for asking me to do this. You are so welcome.